they do exist. Good evening, greetings from Hindo Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So here we have the first of the 2022 model year motorcycles. This is a 2022 slate gray gear up in standard configuration. Just got it out of the crate this afternoon. I think it arrived about 1230 and it's about four o'clock right now. So we're gonna go over this motorcycle and show you some, uh, some of the new goodies that's on it. Maybe a few fingerprints left on it. Haven't finally or finished wiping it down as of yet, but uh, we'll get it cleaned up. Uh, again, this is 2022 model year. And you see it comes standard with the Heidnow K37 400 by 19 tires. Sidecar is just about the same as what they were in 2021 with uh, one major note change. And we'll go ahead and talk about that. That way that finishes up the sidecar portion. You see here our mounting bracket right here is now clamped around the tube rather than being a welded on portion. So that's our rear strut. And of course we talked about the tires there. We do have the K37 tires. And then the other difference here on the sidecar uh, is the gussets. See right there. Sorry about the uh, sunlight. It's getting kind of low in the sky. We do have the gussets there. And we are uh, got to add the two-wheel drive badge, and then we also need to add the Ural badging to the tank. Um, then on to the motorcycle. 2022 Euro 5 compliant. You see the uh, two into one exhaust. Stainless steel. We have a cat there, cat there, cat there. And the cat there. One, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure there's uh, catalytic converter material on all four of those. Uh, don't quote me on that because I've never seen the inside of this because uh, that's the way it came in from the factory assembled that way. Um, and then you see down here it mounts down low, comes up, goes back. We do have a vacuum actuated valve is located right here. Uh, unfortunately, in this video, we won't be starting this one. Uh, I haven't put the battery in it as of yet. I want to get the video put out before the daylight's gone. Uh, we'll get the battery put in it this evening, uh, do the reprogram on it or the program on it, uh, and then have it uh, ready to start up tomorrow. So you see there's the high pipe. Has a heat shield here on the top. Stainless steel. And of course, as I mentioned, that valve right there. Computer controlled, I believe. Of course, it's a vacuum line. Uh, vacuum from the right side. Uh, we've got a vacuum hose here. Runs all the way back. Do 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 And comes out back here. Hooks into our valve. Runs down to the bottom. It's kind of hard to see, but it runs underneath there and then for 2022 model year they have the parking brake and the rear brake are separate there's your parking brake mechanism mounted down low on a new bracket here and then we have mounted up here this is the same brimbo caliper as is on the sidecar same size i uh, should use the small square pads i uh, believe what the part number shows in the catalog and yes to confirm those look like the same pads looks like the same assembly same clip same pin uh, so that is the same brake caliper that's on the sidecar see the battery wasn't kidding you about the battery you haven't put the battery in yet it will go in this evening And then now uh, you have a vacuum port cap here. Uh, so you also want to make sure that those stay on. Um, and of course, like I say, we've got the vacuum line hooked over there. And underneath, 
it's already scratched came in pre-scratched these were already scratched up when we got it so we'll go ahead and lower it down i mean it's going to get scuffed if you use it i'll show you how that uh, how easy that is down like so and then of course you would rock it up it's kind of hard for me to do one-handed but uh guess if I wasn't pointed downhill I could probably pull that right up but uh, anyway we'll set the camera down so you can see how that goes up go like so you guys are going to fall down but Hopefully everybody's still alive there. See we have the center stand. Raises the rear wheel off the ground. And then once the rear wheel's off the ground, you can easily raise, you can raise the front wheel up like so. And here is the, I believe it's forged aluminum is what they're calling it. New swing arm dealy wheelie there. You have a pinch bolt looks like there's still some still some uh, wood from the crate we're setting down on the block so we'll get it all cleaned up but anyway you have a pinch bolt here axle it's a straight axle it goes through this threads in to the end of the axle and then of course you have another pinch bolt here pretty simple system same front caliper see how the shocks are mounted of course these stainless steel were upgraded a while back you see there we have new lower fork lowers welded on bracket very ruggedly built so there's a good angle of it up on the center stand with the rear wheel off the ground Standard seat and everything. Uh, this is the motorcycle that would list for $18,999. Of course, plus the inbound destination and setup. Uh, setup for 2022, a little bit more work involved with them. Uh, so we're looking at uh, $7.95 on setup. Uh, destination charge $8.95. Other little changes and odds and ends. Uh, they do have a different bracket, different mounting system for the rear turn signal stock. Uh, you see it used to have a welded tab here, uh, it's now a bracket that's bolted off of the fender mount bolt and the uh, rear tail light housing. Uh, should note there is a different uh, rear light guard, uh, the light guard has been changed, uh, so there is a different light guard, I was reading about that the other day, uh, so that's going to be a little bit different if you buy a, a uh, tail light guard, so keep that in mind. Uh, spare wheel of course, we have different spacer a little bit different from in years past and that's for the uh because of the rear rear wheel how the caliper goes on or how the uh, brake disc goes on there pretty simple So no, originally these were supposed to come out back in uh, the end of September, 1st of October, but uh, that didn't happen. Unfortunately, here we are the uh, middle, well, we're the second half of uh, November already. Uh, but now they're starting to roll in. I uh, got in several of them today. Uh, I've got more coming in uh, right after Thanksgiving. So they'll be rolling in from here on. So we just thought we'd take this little opportunity here on the, uh, let's see, today's a Tuesday evening. Show you some of the first 2022 shots. Again, this is a 2022. Uh, this is a slate gray unit. Uh, this particular unit, we took it out of the crate first because it's getting ready to have some options added to it. Uh, customer uh, requested to have some options. Uh, so this one did sell the other day, so we'll be getting it prepped out. Uh, I'm going to be headed, uh, I don't know where this one's headed. This one's headed to Virginia, I think. So 
Um, he's going to be getting, we will be drilling a hole in it. He's going to get a spotlight. So we've got factory spotlight we'll be drilling a hole for. Uh, he's getting a uh, windscreen. Uh, I think we're putting a storage box out here on the outside of the sidecar. And don't remember what else we're doing to it. Uh, I'd have to look at the paperwork, but there's some other odds and ends. Oh, he's getting, we're changing seats. Uh, we'll be putting a uh, tractor seats. Uh, so part of the reason we went ahead and wanted to do the video with the stock seat so you guys can see it in the stock configuration. Uh, since he's getting tractor seats, we'll go ahead and zippy zap that off of there uh, before we put the battery on and then put the other seats on. We'll put the battery in. So, so those of you guys with older ones, uh, no, you're not going to be able to just buy the stand and put on. Uh, mounts are completely different. Uh, will you be able to swap out your brakes if you have a 14 through uh, 21? Yeah, I guess you could, but I don't know why you would. Um, maybe you don't like the way the parking brake works. I don't know. Um, you know, I won't speak to how good the braking is or anything on the 2022s. Uh, I haven't ridden a t this 2022 as of yet. Uh, we'll hear pretty soon. Um, so... But uh, what I was going to mention was we do have a smaller brake pad uh, that is smaller from what the 14s through the 21s were. Uh, so will that affect your braking force there on the rear? Well, probably. Uh, so that's a smaller pad there. So that'll be interesting to see. I believe, let's see, they also went with, now that I mentioned that, is this the same? I don't know. I have to check. I think the rotor's different too. Rotor looks bigger, doesn't it, guys? Yep. I should have uh, done a little bit more research on that. Um, sometimes it's hard to know everything right out of the gate. There is no magical program that us as dealers uh, have that we're, we're uh, trained on everything. Uh, it's trial by fire, so try to read up on everything, do a bunch of research ahead of time just so we know. Uh, but there are things that do slip by us. So if you guys see something that's uh, different that I didn't mention, uh, feel free to comment down below or comment down below anyway. Uh, let us know what you think of 2022s. Um, Going to be lots of lots of different things. I know there's a lot of folks that probably hung around to the end of the video because you wanted to hear it run. Uh, like I say, battery's not in it. Otherwise, we would start it up and ride it around a lot. So, and it's one of the first 2022 Euro motorcycles. Uh, this is a slate gray Euro gear up. So this is left-hand thread. Axles have always been left-hand thread. Uh, that lock bolt is left-hand, it's threaded left-hand into the axle. Uh, pinch bolt here, pinch bolt there. Uh, this is up against the face of there. There is a little bit of a gap in between the end of the axle and that. Uh, and then this rotates up and down, of course. So when you guys do an assembly, you always wanna make sure you get, uh, get your bolts tight made sure we've triple checked those already so step back here and you guys can have one more look at it 2022 euro gear up slate gray code 179 standard configuration msrp for the motorcycle 18999 inbound destination 895 set up 795 Angel Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. Thanks for watching.